Shalom, Chevrei. This is Richard Solomon, and this will be my first screencast covering disparate tools and skills, in this case, for Gmail. So for this first week, the first challenge is to obtain a Gmail account. Let me show you how to do that. Okay, so to obtain a Gmail account, you go and record, we'll say in a new tab here, how do I sign up and obtain a Gmail account? So you can raise that question in any search engine. It doesn't have to be Chrome. It could be Firefox or Safari or uh, Internet Explorer. And we are finding out how to sign up for Gmail. Okay, we go over here, and this describes how to sign up for a Gmail account or a Google account. So what do you do? Excuse me. I want to get rid of this. So what you do is you write down your first name here, your last name here. You choose a username, a password. You repeat your password here, and you complete all of this information, birthday, gender, if you wish, mobile phone, and this gotcha or capture uh, code, which you record over here, and this will indicate that you're a human being, agree to the terms, and that's how you go and obtain a Gmail account. All right, let's find out what the next task is. The next task is how do you compose a Gmail message? All right, let's get to that. The way you compose a Gmail message is as follows. We're now on my Gmail account. Okay, and you compose a message very easily by simply hitting the word compose, and then you write the name of the person to whom you're going to send this email to. Let's find out the next question. Add Richard Solomon to your Gmail contact list. And there's my Gmail. Okay, let's find out how to do that. So we go to where the contact lists are. I don't want Gmail right now. I want the contact list. So I'm going to click on contact list. And I want to make a new contact. And we'll say the name of the person who I want to make a contact for is Richard Solomon. And I simply write in here my email address, solomonphd at gmail.com. And I hit save right over here. And now I have Richard D. Solomon's name on my contact list. So let's get back to where we were on Gmail. Remember, we were over here. And let's put my name in. Richard. There it is, Richard Solomon. And uh, I'll just get rid of this. So I have composed. Uh, I have recorded, rather, my Gmail information in this particular column. We'll call this subject Introductory Exercise on Gmail. And we can say, Dear Richard, I'm working on the first assignment. So it will go to me. Now I have to, what do I have to do next? Let's check that out. Now I have to hyperlink a word, phrase, or sentence on your Gmail message. All right, let's see how we do that. Now I have to hyperlink a word or sentence on this Gmail message. All right. So let's say I'm looking up what is Gmail, okay? 
and I want a hyperlink. What is Gmail? So once again, what I do is I would record in the search engine, such as this, the question is, what is Gmail? Okay, what is Gmail? And that will actually take me to this particular location. Okay, and it answers the question, what is Gmail? All right, so I want to go and copy this. See, that? See what I did? I highlighted this. And then I hit copy. And I go back to my Gmail. And I copy, or at least I highlight what is Gmail. And you see this little icon that says link. I'm going to click on this link. And I'm going up here and I'm going to copy the URL. Excuse me. It's, I'm going to paste the URL right over here. And look what happens. What is Gmail is now hyperlinked. Let's check that out. If I click on what is Gmail and I go below it and I click on that, it takes me to this place. So that's how you hyperlink. If I wanted to hyperlink uh, any word, Again, all I do is I locate a URL and I highlight the word. I copy the URL from the previous site and I simply paste in the URL. In this case, I'll just paste in the URL from the other answer. So now I have the word hyperlinked taking us to the same place as what is Gmail. So what's my next question? My next question is, send Richard Solomon a Gmail message in which you demonstrate how to hyperlink a word, phrase, or sentence. So what do we do? To send, we simply go and hit send. It is sending the information to Richard Solomon's Gmail account. And let's once again quickly review what we demonstrated. In this screencast, we demonstrated how to obtain a Gmail account, how to compose a Gmail message, how to add Richard Solomon to your Gmail contact list, how to hyperlink a word, phrase, or sentence, and how to send someone, in this case Richard Solomon, a Gmail message in which you demonstrate how to hyperlink a word, phrase, or sentence. Now, just to be sure that this actually happened in real time, go back to my Gmail message, and here's my Gmail account, and sure enough, here's the message. Dear Richard, I'm working on the first assignment, now I have to hyperlink a word or sentence, and that's how you handle these Gmail tasks.